everyone. So recently on a Hooping Live video, people were asking about palm spins. And the reason why I want to talk about them a little bit more in depth, even though I know I have some videos on them, is because I've learned a few <laughs> I have learned a few new things on them. I'll have to let the cat out. <laughs> let the cat out. That was bad. Um, anyway, so I learned a few new, <laughs> new, oh my God, that's hard for me to say. No, I learned a few new, in or out. Sorry, I, knew, <laughs> I learned a few new things about palm spins that I wanna go over with you guys. So in my other video, I talk about putting the hoop on the ground and just letting the hoop spin and opening your palm, just so you can kind of feel, can you not see it? No, we're good. Okay. And just kind of allowing you to feel the hoop on your palm, spin it in both directions on each different hand, and that just kind of gives you the ability to feel where the hoop is going to spin. Now when you do it, um, you can do a palm spin wherever you want. You can just lift the hoop up <laughs> and spin it, or you can do some sort of movement like over the head and spin it. Um, so with that, I'll teach you guys just kind of the basic things and then you can explore and play with them as much as you want. So right now I have my palm facing inward and I'm going to do this kind of rainbow motion. So just bringing the hoop over the head like this. Now what's gonna happen is about right here, I'm gonna let go of the hoop and I'm gonna flick my wrist, open my hand and let the hoop spin across my palm. Now, what I am doing to like really get this kind of hoop stain in the same path is I am trying to really understand the weight of my hoop and where it wants to fall and counteracting that movement so it stays in a straight line. So if the hoop's falling a certain way, I don't want to follow that. If the hoop is moving a certain way, I don't want to follow that movement if the hoop's going downward. I want to kind of try to move the hoop more up just to kind of keep it in a straight line. So right there, I'm kind of manipulating the hoop. Oh. Not in there, I wasn't doing it. So I'm bringing the hoop around, pushing it. So I'm, ow. <clears throat> this is not easy to do in a small room. Um, Shit, don't put that in, that really hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. We might have to leave it all in. <laughs> so, so what I'm doing here to kind of explain the flick, flick of the wrist a little bit better to you is I'm bringing the hoop up and then when I flick my wrist, I'm kind of popping the hoop into a circle. So I'd be kind of <laughs> going like this. <laughs> Shit. Okay, so we got a new title for this. This is. <laughs> A total, total demo fail, okay? So let them know that's what the title's going to be. Total demo fail. Uh, God, I'm not even trying to do a, that. A tutorial fail. Okay. So I'm flicking my wrist, and I'm opening my hand, and it's going to allow that motion to happen. I like to practice sometimes. Um, now I'm all thrown off. Okay. I don't even know what I'm doing now. Okay, so do the wrap up and let them know this, this actually is going to be. <laughs> so, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I tried to teach you guys palm spins today, but it does not work in this small space. So instead, this is a fail video. <laughs> Tell of, them to check out your show. You did it in the show. Yes. Um, so you can check out my show from March 14th of Hooping Live, and I explain it there a little bit better, and hopefully you'll be able to understand it there, because apparently right now, being mic'd up and trying to do it in a small space isn't working out as well as I thought it would. So yeah, here's a video on how not to teach a palmsman.